Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So uh, Valentine's Day is just a couple weeks away. So I know a lot of people are going to be cooking steaks. I know I'm going to be cooking one for my wife. Um, if you want to step it up a notch, you can get some uh, Wagyu steaks. And I have the, the privilege to be showcasing some of the American Wagyu steaks from Morgan Ranch and uh, I've kind of partnered up with them and for the entire month of February if you uh, go check out their website and place an order if you use the discount code uh, BBQ bros then that will apply a discount to your order so what we're going to do with these steaks is uh, my preferred method which is the reverse sear and I'm going to walk you through that we're going to be cooking those on my Napoleon charcoal grill so let's go ahead and get started All right, so let me go ahead and walk you through some of the steaks here. This is typical uh, of what you would get in one of their combo packs. Again, definitely go uh, check out all the uh, different uh, combo packs they have on their website. This particular combo pack, you've got a uh, tri-tip, a bovet, and a sirloin filet. And as is very typical with high quality uh, Wagyu beef like this, you can see all the fat striations going all throughout these uh, cuts right here. Just amazing looking marbling. And you want these steaks to get up to room temp. We're just going to take some kosher salt and get these salted uh, on all sides and then let them sit out again for about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, guys, we're out at the grill. Let me go ahead and show you my setup and kind of tell you about how you can uh, do something similar on your own grill. So again, I am on my Napoleon charcoal grill here. Um, typically speaking with a reverse sear, the idea is that you just want to cook your steaks over a low and direct uh, temperature. So basically the great thing about this Napoleon grill is the charcoal grate. You can actually raise it up and down. So not only do I have all of the uh, briquettes uh, uh, all the hot coals over here on this uh, to the right side where I've got my skillet uh, where I'm going to do my finishing sear on uh, but over here on this side there's there's uh, no coals it's at a much lower temp I'm going to be cooking on this side of the grill between like 200 and 225 degrees uh, sometimes you know I'll cook around 250 but don't like to go above 250 and so we're going to cook them uh, indirect on this side and then uh, get the grill cranked up and then sear them in the skillet over here so all I did was I added uh, some crushed black pepper to these steaks after they sat at room temp uh, being salted for an hour so we're going to get all those on all right and hands down the most important step to uh, making sure you nail a perfect cook on a reverse sear on some nice steaks like this is you want to use some uh, high quality um, fast fast read high accuracy food thermometers and so I'm going to show you a couple different options uh, in this larger uh, sirloin fillet right here I'm, I'm going to be using the thermowork chef alarm so I've got the probe in that one um, but then I also like to use my thermopen this is the uh, thermopen uh, Mach 4 and I've actually got a review of both of those products you can check out but the idea is we're going to cook these indirect uh, to about an internal temp of around 110 to 115. You want to watch these very, very closely. As soon as you hit that internal temp, we're going to pull them off the grill and then get the grill cranked up to a hot searing temp. All right, guys, our indirect portion of the cook is getting close to being done. Uh, you can see this uh, sirloin filet is getting close to 115. Our tri-tip is right there at 115. And... Um, this larger guy, the uh, I'm sorry, this is the uh, Bavette uh, steak back here, but our sirloin filet up here is right around 100. That's the, the readout here on um, the uh, chef alarm. So these are getting close. What I'm going to do as soon as they hit right around, probably closer to about 120, I'm going to pull these off and just kind of foil them. And then we're going to get the, the grill cranked up and get ready for that finishing sear. Alright guys, now for the fun part, 
we're gonna go ahead and get these seared in our skillet. And we're just gonna sear these for about 30 to 45 seconds per side. All right guys, I just gave them a quick flip. We're gonna continue to monitor the temp with, uh, with our thermopin here. And um, these are gonna be done in probably another 30 to 45 seconds. I'm gonna pull them and then we'll pick back up in the kitchen. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start with our tri-tip here. A slice into this. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Bavette steak right here. Let me go ahead and show you that right there. Check that out. Perfect, medium rare. Oh my gosh, that looks ridiculous. And then my favorite, the sirloin filet. Check that out. Woo! Gosh. Go ahead and taste a little bit of this uh, sirloin filet real quick. Wow, that is phenomenal. Amazing quality on the, on the beef flavor here. Definitely um, go check out Morgan Ranch. You can get all kinds of different steaks there. And um, again, use the uh, discount code BBQ Bros the entire month of February. It'll get you a discount on your order. And uh, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. Have a happy Valentine's Day and let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you again soon.